Our little face so well But I can tell that it's changing I know when you lie there still That you've just been resting We get along so well But I see that we're changing Hello guys and welcome to today's video. I just made Branson and I some coffee and he's in there making breakfast right now. But I am going to vlog my day. Um, I don't have a whole lot of specifics planned, but we are gonna go into the city to go get lunch because we have not been there since we moved here. So we're really excited about that. Um, I'd like to make some stuff with sourdough starter. I checked on my sourdough starter this morning and I fed it last night and it did not get exactly where I wanted to for me to be able to start the process this morning. So I think I might use some stuff with discard to make some discard recipes and then maybe I'll feed it this morning and maybe I'll be able to at least start the process tonight for baking tomorrow. I'm not sure. So that one's kind of up in the air, but hopefully we can do some baking and then there is the um, soccer semifinals tonight. So we're planning on going to that. And yeah, that's pretty much all we have planned, but I think it's gonna be a really good day. I'm excited, I've got my coffee already, and yeah. So I've been getting into the sourdough process and it's been very much a learning curve. I love it because it constantly keeps me on my toes, but it can be frustrating sometimes. Like I did feed my starter last night, expecting to be able to start making bread with it this morning and it didn't double in size. And I don't know if it doubled in size while I was sleeping and then went back down already by this morning or if it just didn't double at all. And it normally does. So I'm gonna try feeding it to this morning and then we're gonna try seeing if we can maybe start the bread process tonight, like make the dough tonight and then like let it proof overnight and then bake it in the morning after church i'm not too sure but also like if i have to start the process tomorrow that's fine too like it's really okay but i'm wanting to try and make bread again because i tried making bread once and it turned out better than i thought it would for my first loaf but it wasn't like oh this is really good bread so i want to keep trying um i've made bagels so far i've made pancakes uh, so I'm really excited to try some new recipes. Once I start to get really into this whole sourdough process and really understand how everything works, I'd love to do like a bake with me video and just kind of like talk with you guys while I make bread or something. I think that would be really fun. Okay, while Brandon is finishing up breakfast, I think I'm going to start my makeup and I can kind of show you guys what products I've been using and really loving at the moment this ilia like tinted serum it's amazing like i love it so much i got it last year for christmas and it has niacinamides squalene and hyaluronic acid in it and i feel like when i wear this it does like a very light tint like i would say if you're looking for a foundation coverage this isn't for you but if you're just looking to kind of like cover up some redness and stuff this is great and i feel like it truly does make my skin better when i wear it which how often does makeup make your skin better so love this i um have been using this Clean Fresh CoverGirl Liquid Blush. I don't even think they make this anymore. This is very old and I'm just trying to use it until it dies. But Crunchy, if you don't know what Crunchy is, it's a very clean brand. Like I don't think this CoverGirl makeup is actually clean. Like I would almost guarantee that it's it's not. It just might be better than some of their other lines. But Crunchy makes very clean makeup and they're coming out with a liquid blush. And I really, really want to try that one. So I'm excited to try that once it comes out. I've been trying out the Dime Mascara because it's supposed to be a little cleaner as well. I I have mixed feelings about this. If you like the feel of regular mascara, I think this is a good one. But let me show you what I used before, and I've talked about this before in videos because it's my favorite thing. But it is the Liquid Lash Extension Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. And I was going to try this one because I was like, I've used this the last few times, maybe I should start looking. Um, this one is a tubing mascara. And it basically that means that it like coats your lashes and then it makes them so much longer and fuller because of that. And also when you're ready to take it off, you don't need makeup remover. You can just take warm water and just like wipe it off. And it literally like comes off when you pull it off your eyelashes. Like it's the weirdest thing. I wish I had more left in here to show you, but it's so great. 
and when you get your lashes wet it doesn't like run so it's it's kind of like when they're wet that makes it so you can like take it off but it's not gonna run like a regular mascara would when it gets wet amazing but i mean if you're looking for one that feels like the regular mascara dime's not bad it's just not my favorite and then i've been using the ilia eyeshadow palette um i got this last year for christmas as well it's not too bad i i like it the colors are a little orangey for my skin tone i think that's the only thing i change about it otherwise i love the colors in here so so much I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and then I will come back. Makeup is done. As you can see, it's very sheer coverage, but it adds like just enough to kind of make you feel just a little bit better, you know? We love it. So now I'm gonna pick out an outfit and then I think we're gonna leave to go up to Sioux Falls. So I'm very excited about that. outfit for today i have this little turtleneck sweater which i love the sleeves on this because they're wide and then these pants i'm trying to decide if i should wear untucked or tucked in brandon thinks it looks better tucked in so i'll probably go with his very expert opinion on clothes also don't mind the purple lighting from my plant light i got this olive tree and i have to keep this plant light on it because that's what helps it get enough sunlight but it's actually been growing pretty well so i'm pretty happy about it Okay, we're getting ready to leave, but I forgot I need to put my sourdough starter before we go. And this is it right now. It's very bubbly, like a lot of little bubbles. So it either doubled when I was sleeping or it just didn't double. Fine either way. We're going to try and fix that and get it going. So I discard half. Would make sense, honestly. So I'm going to add in my flour. Water. I use bottled water because our water, I think, we have town water, and so it has quite a bit of chlorine, fluoride, all that kind of stuff that sourdough doesn't love. Then I'm going to put it in the oven with the light on. The light in the oven just gives it a little bit of warmth because our house is pretty cold because it's winter right now, so that just gives it a little bit of warmth and the yeast kind of thrives in a warm environment and then I'm gonna put my discard in the fridge. On our way to Sioux Falls we are going to go in Hobby Lobby and look around at what they have for Christmas and also I'm gonna see if they have candle wicks because I need candle wicks. Just kidding we're going in home goods. Bother me. It's how it's... <laughs> That's insane. What? in his element. It's really easy to talk Branson into coming to Hobby Lobby with me because he just likes to look at the modeling kits. It's a win-win. I woke up cold and out of touch The photos and the memories will never be enough But if I could walk those streets today Would you still feel so far? We ended up going to both Home Goods and Hobby Lobby, and that Home Goods was combined with Marshalls, and it was the biggest one I've ever seen in my entire life. And I want to go back there and really take some time to shop sometime soon because it was insane. And I did end up getting candle wicks, and I ended up getting some modeling supplies. Go him. And now we are. Are we here? Is that it right there? Okay. And now we're to the sushi restaurant. Will the rain ever stop? Will the rain ever stop? Will the rain ever stop? All right, we're back home from the soccer game and they lost in overtime, which is really, really sad. So they won't be advancing to the finals, but it was a good game. This is a very good game. And then we made a pit stop at Walmart and got hot chocolate mix because we're going to have hot chocolates. And then I got dill because I've been wanting to make homemade pickles again. 
So the only thing I don't have is dill and now we're gonna make some pickles too. I am going to change into some comfy clothes. Branton is one step ahead of the game. I'm gonna check on my sourdough starter and see if it's risen at all. Oh yeah, it's rising. It hasn't doubled yet, which it doesn't need to double, but it hasn't quite reached that point yet. So I will let it rise tonight and then I'll make the dough in the morning and then bake it tomorrow night, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing any baking with my starter today. I made chili last night, so I'm just gonna have that heat up on the stove and then we're gonna have leftovers for dinner. While that's heating up, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. Also, I think I'm gonna make some homemade whipped cream. I've never made homemade whipped cream before, but I don't think it can be very hard. And I have heavy whipping cream, so I think we should try it. And this is not technically like pickled pickles. These are refrigerator pickles, which means they're not technically canned and pickled, but it's, it tastes the exact same. So this is what I do. It's way easier and it's really quick. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. I don't have an exact recipe for measurements. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what I do and then you can kind of put your own spin on it. First, we're going to need a cucumber. I personally like to use citrus cucumbers because I don't really like seeds in my pickles, and so I figured that I like this one. And then we're going to just cut up the slices. Next, this is where the lack of measurements come in. But I'm going to show you what I do. So I um, usually put them in just a regular mason jar. And what you want to do is equal parts vinegar and water. So whatever that is, equal parts vinegar and water. So I'm going to fill this up halfway with vinegar and then halfway with water. A little less because you got to account for like how much space the pickles take up. So I'm going to do that. of vinegar and water we are going to add salt pepper garlic is what i like to add and then um, we're going to microwave it so that everything dissolves So you're gonna take some sprigs of this. I really like dill. Maybe like this much. And then I want to want to take it on, put it on your cutting board, and then roll a glass or something over, and that kind of like breaks up the dill a little bit, and then it like starts to release some of those aromas and flavors that otherwise wouldn't be released if you didn't break it a little bit. Like you can tell a difference if you smell it versus if you crack it and then smell it. So yeah, roll a glass over, and then you can tuck it in your pickles, put them in the fridge, and then the next morning they'll be ready to eat. Me. 
I think that I am gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know what videos you guys wanna see next. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.